In our next section, we are going to make a practice lab example on the packet tracer about the HCP snow pink. We just have one step to accomplish and it's saying us to configure the HCP snow pink on the switch one by specifying the trusted and tr untrusted ports for the figure above. If you remember from our DHCP snooping lesson, the trusted ports are the trunk ports of the switch first and the access port that is DHCP server is connected to will be a trusted port as well. And secondly, any other ports would be untrusted ports. So if I want to check the figure, here gonna be untrusted. This is a trunk and will be trusted. And this is trusted also. The trunk ports all trusted. And also the access port that is DHCP server is connected to is trusted as well. So what I'm gonna define for the trusted ports is will be a DHCP snooping trust and for the untrusted port I'm gonna define a IP DHCP snooping limit rate. Alright, let's go and start with the switch one's configuration. First I'm gonna make the trunk configuration of the switch one. I'm going to switch one and switch port mode trunk. Okay. I accomplished I accomplished the trunk configuration on the switch one. And what I'm going to do is first if you remember from our slides we need to define the IP DHCP snooping command and enable the DHCP snooping globally first. And that's okay. Second, I need to define the VLANs that I'm gonna use for the DHCP snooping. In our example, let's assume that we are using VLAN 10 for data communication and we use the DHCP snooping for VLAN 10. All right, IP DHCP snooping VLAN 10. Second, we need to I'm sorry, third, we need to enable the IP DHCP option 82 value as you remember. IP DHCP snooping information option is the command that I'm gonna use to activate. Then I'm gonna go to the fast Ethernet. I'm sorry, interface fast Ethernet 0 for the third, uh, I'm sorry, 0 and 24, and I'm gonna type the IP DHCP snooping trust command that is showing me that I'm trusting that port. All right. The secondly, I need to go to the access port that PC is connected to, and I'm going to use switch port access VLAN. Then, okay. And third, I need to define a limit rate for this port. IP DHCP snooping limit rate will be 10. And the number of DHCP packets that can be accepted in the port at the moment will be just 10. Okay, guys, that's it. I accomplished the DHCP snooping configuration. That's pretty simple as you can see, just there are a few steps to accomplish. But if you really know the concept, and that's no problem. You can do it very easily. That's so simple and, and that's a really important feature that we need to use for our network security.